Hello everyone, I welcome you all to the Infinity Vision platform. Right now I'll be doing one such question that came in your JMIN examination. This question came on 27th August 2021 in shift 2. So let us see this question first. Question says a wire W1 and W2 are made up of same material. Okay, the material of this wire W1 and W2 is similar. Having the break, break, breaking strength of 1.25 into 10 to the power 9 Newton per meter square. Okay, and the breaking strength is also given to you. Breaking strength is force applied per unit area. So, and W1 and W2 have a, having a cross-sectional area of this much and this much, respectively. Masses of 20 kg and 10 kg hangs from them as shown in the figure. So, these are the two masses which is also hanging from them. Okay, so the maximum mass that can be placed in the pan without breaking the wire is. So, what would be the maximum mass of which can you be? which can be uh, which can be put on the pan so that it may achieve a breaking strength okay so let the mass that the maximum mass that can be put on the pan is small m okay and the value of that small m you need to find out without breaking the wire is in kg you need to find out so if let m kg of mass has been put at this situation it has attained its breaking strength so the tension at this particular point in the wire is let it, let it be T and that is a breaking force that can be applied in this wire once this, this uh, once more mass can be uh, added into the, into the pan then this wire will automatically break so this is the situation this is a boundary situation or the equilibrium situation at which uh, it is about to break so this is the mass that you need to find out so once this mass has been put and the tension in the wire let it be T so this tension per unit area in this cross-sectional wire at this particular point will be your breaking strength of this wire so this is nothing but this tension in the wire per unit area would be the breaking strength and what would be the tension in the wire tension in the wire would be because of the two masses this 10 kg plus mkg mass the weight of these two would be the tension in this wire w2 okay and that is the tension this tension is equal to m into g mass the weight of this body uh, th this block plus the weight of uh, the, uh, the weight of the mass that we have put in the pan and then and the mass of the pan is also zero because the mass of the pan is also not given to you so we'll assume as if the pan does not has having any mass not only uh, pan the this wire also doesn't have any mass that we have to consider okay so this tension is this much of tension so it is equal to 100 plus 10 m okay so this is the value of tension so we'll be putting this value and this force per unit area is also given to you which is 1.25 into 10 raised to power 9 okay again we'll be putting the value it would be equal to 100 plus 10 m divided by area what is the area of this cross-sectional area of the wire it is 4 into 10 raised to power 7 so 4 into 10 raised to power minus 7 so it would be 1.25 into 10 raised to power 9 so we have to solve this equation in order to get the value of the mass that have that we have put okay so again it would be 100 plus 10 m so if I'll multiply it over there so what we'll be getting so it would be 5 into 10 raised to power 2 so it would be 500 okay so this will go over there so this it will multiply over there so it is nothing but 10 raised to power 2 so it would be 500 so 100 plus 10 m 10 m okay so this is the value this is the expression that we are getting so it will if, if it go over there so it would be equal to 10 m is equal to 400 and m must comes out to be 40 kg so this is the value of mass and which it came out to be 40 kg that has to be put in the pan so that the this uh, so the breakdown situation will come and if more mass can be added into the pan then it will gonna break so this is the equilibrium condition at which it is about to break i hope this question is clear to everyone thank you